Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on algebraic fractions. This is the second video on this topic, so here we're going to be looking at simplifying algebraic fractions that involve a quadratic expression. So here we're going to simplify a squared plus a minus 6 over ab plus 3b. Now I should point out uh, when you have quadratics, you're normally aiming to factorise them. And so if you're not confident on factorising, then we do have separate videos on uh, factorising into single brackets and factorising into double brackets. So both are going to be quite useful here. So we're aiming to factorise both expressions on the numerator and the denominator, and hopefully uh, one of the brackets that we're left with will cancel so we can simplify the fraction. So let's look at the numerator first of all. Uh, so we need a set of double brackets here for this quadratic. So it's going to be a plus something and a minus something. Uh, and that's because uh, a plus times a minus gives a minus and we need a minus number for our value here on the end minus 6. So we need two factors of minus 6 which add together to give plus 1. And those are plus 3 and minus 2. So as I say, if you're not confident on this, we do have a separate video on factorising into double brackets. Uh, but otherwise, the, new, uh, the denominator sorry, uh, will factorise into a single bracket by taking out a factor of b. So we have b lots of a plus 3. So now you can see we've got uh, double brackets on the top and a single bracket on the bottom. Now one of these brackets on the top will cancel this bracket on the bottom. So a plus 3 divided by a plus 3 is equal to 1. Uh, so we're left with a minus 2 over b. So this is the simplified form now of the full fraction. Algebraic fractions are a topic that come up all the time in GCSE maths, so if you want to get some practice in before your actual exam, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So it's a really good way of finding out where you're going wrong, so you can improve for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.